Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on Team Up TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming here for the first time. If you're regular, just do the usual. Please like and comment and also share our video so that others may also see what we do here. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So I'm sure now everyone has seen it or now everyone has come across it. It is the documentary that we were much awaiting for the Al Jazeera documentary that is titled The God Mafia. And we have seen one of the four episodes that are set to be released and everyone is in disbelief on how on the extent of the shenanigans that are happening in zimbabwe under our watch the the, the level of of, of of inhumanity that is bestowed upon our people and as expected this documentary will open loads and loads of uh, cans of worms as we see now our friends on uh, social media are coming through with their investigations in Zimbabwe, we all know that if it is criminal in nature, everyone is either everyone becomes a policeman or everyone becomes a lawyer. If it is financial, we know that you know, it's not better for my finance minister, even my government, I might as well think we are so good at that. So now we have launched our investigations into Pogelionari now with no Chefayo. This is after the revelation that uh, of the planes that is being used to the siphon code in and out of the country so people traced the numbers that were said by one pilot angachi expose even in the documentary and they saw that wikino jivayo and pokelona also uses the same flights when they head to dubai they post on social media that we are flying business class or first class then they also post that we are now in dubai and also their frequency of traveling so the documentary has opened a lot of investigations have bestowed people to investigate more into these cases we see now pokelo who is also said to be in love with one of uh, president Munangagwa's son is also being said that she is one of the runners of the gold mafia and so uh, and so is uh, working with Jafayo as well they are all being implicated into the same uh, scheme so it goes without saying that a lot is happening behind our backs a lot is happening some are prevailing to call it as a sanction a sanctions busting method and some are just saying that it's a way of uh, people enriching themselves through the natural resources that the country is we are awaiting also a discussion with tendai bt who was also part of the uh, al jazeera documentary we also see pictures here of wikno jivayo with one of the people in the documentary so i, I think it's almost obvious that probably all wigno chufayo is one of the runners and he also does the 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 the, 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 the role of being the middleman of these people when they siphon the money in and out of zimbabwe so let's just just wait to see part three part two three four and now the person who is most affected now i think it's a prophet to angel the level of confidence in Ghana, your actually feel information very sensitive. Daro, guys, my spiritual spectacles are tiffed up. I even humble my kumbira wa wonders. We could is only what is about to come. Was hey, I will expose our one now. Let's expose our one. expose our anyway. That is the story for another day. I'm not going to get any far off. Didn't you, honorable Madiva?